What is going on guys, my name is AK, back again with another YouTube video. Now the Call of Duty competitive season for Cold War is really close to being over with. On the amateur side of things, we literally have one more weekend for the playoffs or the champs. Uh, and on the main competitive side of thing, uh, the CDL, we literally only have champs left to go. So really not much uh, left in store for the rest of the competitive season. And as you guys know, my channel is based mainly around competitive content. So what I thought I'd do in today's video is hop into a game of pubs, do a little gameplay commentary and talk about the kind of things that uh, I'm thinking of doing over the next couple of months. Hopefully it can get some of your guys' input as to what you want to see on the channel because I'm going to continue doing things even if it is sort of the, the off-season and people aren't really playing competitive COD that much. So without further ado, let's jump straight into that. So we've got a game, uh, it's actually some express hardpoint uh, on the 12v12 game modes. So it's going to be pretty hectic, but that um, is going to make it fun uh, nonetheless. So that's what we want to see. So as I said, what I thought we'd do in today's video is just sort of have a little uh, discussion and a little breakdown, I guess, of some of the ideas that I've had uh, about what we can actually do in the off-season. Because if you guys don't know, um, once Champs finishes in... Uh, is that in two weeks or so? Um, the Call of Duty scene, the competitive scene... It kind of disappears, uh, and you don't really see very much actually going on uh, until the next Call of Duty is released, or, or the beta at least comes out for that. Uh, but that isn't going to be for a good few months. Uh, I'm guessing the beta probably won't come out till maybe uh, September time. We're, we're looking, we're looking a good few months away. So I think there is definitely uh, going to be a void uh, in terms of content uh, from the uh, for the channel uh, that I need to fill with something. And I guess uh, what I thought I'd do is have a little discussion about what those ideas might be. So. Personally, uh, I quite like the idea of being able to sort of do content that uh, like I enjoy myself. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy competitive content, but uh, I do like, or I like the idea of being able to do something a little bit different, like mix it up and uh, just sort of do some things that uh, I find really entertaining. So like uh, Call of Duty Zombies, uh, I have Black Ops 3 installed uh, on, on PC so I can play that. Um, and I've got a few of the map packs for that, all the Zombie Chronicle ones, so we can do like Origin Zombies. I don't know how much uh, of the Zombies maps and that you guys have played if, uh, if you played back in, in Black Ops 3, but uh, I was definitely thinking maybe doing some, uh, some content on that. Maybe focus a lot more of it around live streaming, um, because I know videos can get quite hard to make if there isn't sort of set content to do, but live streams I can be a little bit more uh, spontaneous and, and do things like that. Now don't get me wrong, there will be like tournaments um, for us to compete in, uh, like 2v2 tournaments, 4v4 tournaments on, on Cold War, maybe on uh, Modern Warfare as well. Um, last year's game, I, I, I can play that. I'm kind of limited, uh, I can only play things that I have installed on PC. But um, either way, I'm sure we can find some uh, some tournaments and things to stream. But also, uh, I know a lot of people have been wondering if I'm going to go to Warzone uh, as well. Because, don't get me wrong, I, uh, I do quite like Warzone. Uh, I'm not very good at it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm surprisingly bad at Warzone for someone that is so good at uh, sort of competitive COD. Um, but I'm sure it's something I can learn. I haven't really put too much game time into it, but... Um, I think I think maybe that is something I've considered as well, uh, just in terms of views. I know that'd probably do quite well. Um, and I guess as opposed to things like zombies, uh, it has a little bit more sort of content that I can actually make around it, uh, as opposed to maybe relying on doing live streams and stuff like that. But I really want to know what your guys' opinions are, things that you want me to do. Uh, there's a few new games out at the moment. There's that, is it called Splitgate or something? Uh, I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people online are, are looking for other games to play. Uh, sort of in the competitive scene because uh, as I said it's the uh, it's the off season for everyone so everyone's sort of in the same uh, position as me although most of them don't have to try and uh, find things to make videos and content around so they can sort of do a little bit more what they want but yeah I really want you guys to uh, to let me know what you guys want to see because at the end of the day uh, that's who I make the content for so just sort of let me know what ideas uh, you guys have if you have any. But I was also thinking, uh, we've got a lot of people on the AK Discord, um, so I was thinking there's no reason why we couldn't uh, host tournaments uh, and things like that. We've done a few of them in the past, uh, so maybe we could do one of them uh, maybe every couple of weeks or uh, uh, maybe once once a month or so, just to sort of keep people uh, involved and, and keep the uh, the competitive play going. Um, and uh, Or maybe even if we just sort of do like viewer entering tournaments, so Game Battles host a lot of tournaments. Uh, they do like 2v2s and 4v4s and stuff like that. Maybe we get some viewers uh, playing in those kind of things as well. I'm really not too sure, um, but I do have a fair few ideas that I think we should be able to fill the, uh, the next month or so, uh, or the next couple of months or so worth of content. But as I said, would really appreciate any ideas that any of you have got, um, because as I said, uh, regularly uploading uh, is, is quite hard when I don't have a, a set game to, uh, to be making content about. And although I, it's something to be fair that I've struggled a little bit throughout the year, because a lot of the content that I make is sort of like educational, like where's the spawns, uh, how do you rotate, how do you anchor hills, all stuff like that. Um, but 
that is very useful early on in in the game, uh, sort of in the in the year of the. Uh, the competitive title because that's when everyone still wants to know that by the end of the year everyone pretty much knows that information anyway so uh the the, the videos start doing less well and uh, and then it becomes the content becomes a little bit different i have to sort of focus on streaming more and maybe doing gameplay commentary stuff like that instead um just because that kind of educational content pretty much everyone knows that so uh that there isn't really much value to uh, to uploading that kind of video yeah, so like zombie streams, maybe Warzone streams, and um, maybe some videos around Warzone. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of practice. Uh, I don't want to expose myself as an awful or, or the as as the awful Warzone player I am at the moment. Need a need a little bit of work on that. Um, but I think that could also be quite useful for going into the next COD, because I've heard uh, from a few sources that have actually got hands on uh, the new COD, or uh, maybe they're developers. I'm not too sure, but some information has been leaked. And apparently the movement system on that is very similar to that of uh, Modern Warfare, which if you don't know is uh, the same movement system that Warzone uses, it uses the, uh, the Modern Warfare system. So I think uh, perhaps there could be a little bit of um, use in brushing up my skills on, uh, on the Modern Warfare movement system uh, and then getting quite good at that and hopefully that might come in handy for when the new game launches um, sort of towards the end of this year. And of course it goes without saying we will be covering any new leaks and information and betas and, and whatnot. Everything about the new game uh, we will be, uh, we'll be covering that and sort of all the competitive breakdowns of everything we see there. So you don't have to worry about that uh, sort of disappearing um, or the competitive style content disappearing. Definitely going to still be doing that. Um, but yeah, it's going to have to take a little bit of a backseat just because there isn't loads of competitive stuff to make videos on. But anyway, how are we doing in this game? We're doing pretty well, to be fair. We're, uh, we're winning. I don't often play this 12v12 game mode, uh, although I do really like um, hectic gameplay. Uh, that's why I love the 6v6 face-off. I don't know if you guys have played the 6v6 face-off. Uh, pretty fun game mode. Um, loads of kills and uh, like very fast, very fast gunfights. Stuff like that. It's uh, very enjoyable. Uh, and what other ones are there? There's the cranked one. I don't, have you guys played the cranked playlist? I think I played it in a video just the, uh, the other day. Um, where you get like faster movement speed, faster reload, weapon handling, all of that uh, as you pick up more kills and go on streak. So that's a really fun game mode as well. I quite uh, I quite like that. I was actually trying to find uh, a game of that to play for this video, but I couldn't uh, I couldn't manage to get one in the end. Anyway, there's a guy out here. Can we can we get some kills? How did that not kill him? I swear that killed him there. Maybe not. Get him. Ah, oh, we got shot in the side. That's a shame. Yeah, now the hand cannon's ridiculously good. It's great if you want to go on uh, long streaks. If you want to try and get um, get a nuclear, definitely throw that on there. It counts towards your nuke. Uh, it's probably the best bet to actually uh, to try and get them. I think the closest I've ever come is a, is a maybe a twenty five or so, uh, and I think that was uh, using the hand cannon to get probably at least a good uh, six or seven of those kills. It is uh, it's very overpowered and and fun to use, you know. It's uh, like the Annihilator. That used to be one of my favourite specialists back in uh, back in Black Ops Three. What was uh, what was your guys' favourite specialist if you played Black Ops Three? I'm trying I'm trying to think what one I always used to use. I know Black Ops Four. I always used to use the Recon. You know the guy with the uh, the Vision Pulse. Uh, Vision Pulse was was it Outlaw or something? It was called. I or maybe was that the Bow and Arrow? I can't really remember. Whatever, whatever the um, the Vision Pulse was in, was one in Black Ops Three. I didn't really use that one too much. But the Vision Pulse in Black Ops Four, the Recon. Uh, I did use that one. That was sort of my uh, competitive one of choice, mainly because the main AR normally used to use that one, uh, and that was uh, that was my role and has been my role for a very long time. Actually, I've uh, I've been a main AR as long as I've been playing competitive Call of Duty. So yeah, got a got a little bit of experience uh, in that. But yeah, I'm trying to think in Black Ops Three. What was my favourite? Uh, I used to really like the the flamethrower guy. Uh, it was called the purifier, the flamethrower, I think, um, and he had heat wave as well. I used to, I used to really like. Um, that. I can't remember actually what the the character was called, but that was uh, that was one of my favourites. But anyway, there we are. One more second, and we win that. We didn't do too bad actually. Not an amazing KD, but uh, it's pretty hectic. And I, again, I, I always say it, but I am working on my my sort of uh, gameplay commentary skills. So not the best at playing while I'm actually talking and uh, and sort of doing things as well while playing. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As I said, let me know what content ideas and things you want to see from the channel because it's going to be a bit of a free fall. We can kind of do whatever we want now until uh, the release of the new game. But I appreciate you guys watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.